Hello, everyone. Welcome to eLearn Chat, where talk it's knowledge. We say talk is knowledge, but talk is sound. And one thing about e-learning that's really important is sound. The quality of the audio you record, whether it's voice or something else, you want good sound. If your sound is bad, guess what? Nobody's going to pay attention. They'll turn you off. If your video is good and your sound is bad, they'll forgive you. But if your video is bad and your sound is bad, oh, you're in trouble. So we're going to do a little series of shows. They'll be short talking about microphones, things you can use to make your sound and recording experience a whole lot better. Today, I am recording this with the Studio Projects C1. That's Charlie One. Studio Projects. This is a very nice looking microphone. It is a condenser microphone. That means it requires power, 48 volt phantom power to run. It also requires a preamplifier, which means it's not a USB microphone. So with this microphone, which costs a little under $300, you get the equivalent of maybe a Neumann microphone, U87 or one of those, which costs $3,000. That's a big difference. This mic fools a lot of people into thinking it's a Neumann microphone for under 300 bucks. That's a good deal. So what's good about this microphone? It looks good. You may think, well, I don't care if it looks good. Does it sound good? Yes. But if you're on camera, if you're anywhere else, and you have a mic that looks good, eh, people tend to go, well, that must sound really good too. But this microphone is very versatile for voice use. And uh, let's, run, let's run it through a pace. If I do some counting, one, two, three, four, and five. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. She sells seashells by the seashore in Cincinnati, or one of my wife's favorites. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck wood. <sighs> there we go. This mic is, is actually pretty forgiving of, of plosives or air sound where you hear, <laughs> you probably hear that as, a, as an explosion. But this mic is, is a great voiceover microphone. It sounds quite good. And for the price, it is a very good voiceover mic for e-learning. So if you're looking for mics that aren't really expensive, won't break the bank, this is one of them. Again, it is not a USB microphone, so you will need one extra piece of gear, and that piece of gear can cost as little as, as maybe $100 or less, which would be a preamplifier. You connect it to the preamplifier, the preamplifier goes into your USB port, and ta-da, you now have a little sound recording studio with very good sound. Now, you'll notice at the top here, as I'm, I'm handling it, you'll hear a little bit of noise maybe. It has a little, it's, it floats in this little thing of bands. Well, that is called a shock mount. And this microphone comes with the shock mount built into it. So in essence, it is part of the shock mount. And it does a very good job. It does not come with a pop filter, but this one may have an internal one. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's also not that noisy a microphone in terms of, of how it deals with you. So, Studio Projects C, as in Charles, 1. Studio Projects C1. A very good microphone. You can pick these up at Amazon for, oh, probably $250 to $300. For eLearn Chat, I'm Rick Zanotti. We'll have more mics next week. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.